What up, y'all? It's your boy, Night2727, and let's take a look at my review for Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. Just looking at the bottom right here, we have the Mercenaries mode, special features, options, and credits. Special features is the demo for Resident Evil Revelations, the story based Resident Evil game. Very short demo, but still good. Let's get into it. So let's take a look at the content. You have start mission, character select, duo, medal, and mission select. Your medals are basically your achievements. Newcomer, beginner, rookie, veteran, simple stuff that you unlock. Your duo is of course your multiplayer modes. You can either play local or online. Grab a buddy online works well. You're able to host your own game, join a game, host a friend session, and join a friend session. The character select. There are only eight characters. Each character has an unlockable costume. For each character, they have their own weapon layout. If you hit the L button, you can switch anybody's weapon layout and give it to anybody. So, example, Chris can have Jack's crossbow, which makes for some very unique gameplay depending because each character has their own melee. If I hit the R button, there is a complete list of skills which are unlockable throughout the game. So, which means you might have to go back and get better scores to unlock each little skill. Each skill can be leveled up to level 3, and once you hit level 3, you get a slight little bonus to go with it. Luck, improve resistance against instant kill, and once I got to level 3, my partner receives the same effects, which is very good. The game also features Resident Evil Revelations demo, which is a very good demo. That's pretty much it for the content. So let's take a look at the missions, or the story mode. There's no story. As you know, it's based off of a minigame. But there are 30 different missions. And in earlier levels, you're basically learning the ropes, learning the controls. They teach you how to move, walk around. Slowly, they evolve you into shooting and actually killing some zombies. Then you start to hit your traditional mercenaries mode. You race against the clock, kill zombies, try to get a better time, and then they throw a curveball at you. As of this mission right here, you can actually have a challenge against a boss. Kill the boss as fast as possible with the minions coming around and attacking you. There's also the traditional mercenaries mode. In this mode, there's actually waves and waves of enemies that you have to keep fighting without having to worry about finding the time statues. Each time you defeat a wave, you get more time. This is perfect for online co-op. Grab a buddy online and just fight waves and waves of enemies trying to get the best score. I think that was a very good add-on in which I think because of that feature alone is worth it. Worth the buy. So as we're talking about the missions, let's load one up so you can see the loading time of the game and the actual gameplay itself. So for a game that is so graphically powerful for a handheld, the loading times are actually very variable. As you see, it's done loading already. Very impressive for a handheld. Let's take a look at the graphics. Environmental wise, just look at the place. It looks beautiful. Character models look almost exactly like the PS3 and the Xbox 360 graphics. Just a little less polished. The 3D doesn't do much justice for it, but it does add that classic sense of depth. I'm used to the 3D effect, so it's not really amazing to me anymore. The gameplay is exactly straight out of Resident Evil 5. And this is a mission, or a map as you say, right out of Resident Evil 5. 
So it's as if I'm playing Resident Evil 5 on the go in the palm of my hand for the 3DS. The controls port over very well. On the touch screen, you can touch each weapon to switch. Very simple. Or you can use the D-pad up and down to switch if you don't want to use the touch screen. You aim with the R button and you move with the circle pad. If you hold the R button and move the circle pad, you can aim. But if you hold L and R, you can also move and aim at the same time. Which is very new to the series. So I can walk forward and just take on zombies. It adds a lot of strategy, especially when a lot of enemies are coming at you. You can move backwards and kill Steve shooting. Another thing is that you can actually reload and walk at the same time. You can also heal yourself at the same time. The A button is dedicated to the herb. Each time you press A, you'll heal yourself. It does nothing else but that, which is very good because you don't have to scroll through a menu to equip the herb and then use it. What they really wanted to do with this game was just make it so in-your-face action and keep the pace moving without having to scroll through a menu. The ability to reload and back up at the same time is phenomenal. The skills work very well when playing field too. There's even a skill that allows you to add electric attacks to all your melee. So the only problem with the actual gameplay itself is that the frame rate issue is very bad for enemies that are a distance from you. As you see, it looks fine, and it looks like I'm playing a console version of the game. But, if you ever see an enemy in the far distance, their frame rate will suffer a lot. But other than that, it's all good. Gameplay-wise, it is like the best you'll ever find. And one of the first, if not the only, rated M game on a 3DS, it really puts itself in the elite. So that's it for a mission.